can the patient or caregiver do when receiving biospecific therapies, right? Adherence is key as much as possible, follow the treatment plans because these are designed in a specific way so that the drug is present in your body at most times and they attack the cancer. And these are all clinical trial data driven, the frequency. So we would like for the patients to be as adherent as possible. Infection prevention, this is really, really huge. So when patients have specifically low blood counts or low immunoglobulin levels, we ask them to avoid crowded places as much as possible. And if you are in a crowded place, to please wear a mask in heavily crowded areas, in airplanes or in mass transit like New York City subways, where I'm from. Hand and body hygiene and wound hygiene is extremely important because all of these can predispose to infections. Um, getting vaccinated uh, after discussing with your oncologist since there, you know, we typically don't advise getting any live vaccines for those who are post-transplant, post-CAR T, and even those getting bispecifics. And at the earliest sign of an infection, get treated at the earliest. That's so important. Symptom identification by the patient or caregiver is also important, like any symptom, be it with infection, or if you feel like you've been on bispecific for a year and a half and you've been having excellent re results, but all of a sudden you're having a new bone pain, new unexplained weight loss, a new anemia, let the provider know. And these are some signs and symptoms of disease progression.